Uh, he's maybe going to try and use sneak against him because he won't have as much knowledge. You know what I mean? The book is out on True Boy. Absolutely. And let's go ahead and get to action. We're starting with the kickoff. And that's like that brings it out to the 20. Yeah, and Ocean Gang is going to be in the dark uniforms. True Boy will be in the lighter white Jaguars uniforms. They have some of the best unis in the NFL. Those helmets uh, that are kind of have the half blend, Rico. You like those? I absolutely love them. You, when you look good, you play good. Feel good, look good, play good, check. All right, just like that, he starts off by giving the ball to, up. And he seems to be running with the greatest of ease. Yeah, so that's Le'Veon Bell, which, uh, as we noted, Le'Veon Bell is actually on the squad of our man Ocean Gang. So we'll adjust that there. It's going to be Ocean Gang in the light uniforms with True Boy in those dark uniforms. Remember, at the Madden Bowl, Le'Veon Bell for True Boy. But today, he's got Marcus Allen. So... Ocean Gang is going to run single back jumbo, Rico, and we'll talk about that as the day goes on. I got to get your thoughts on it as an offense. All right, he picks up the first down and a few more. So, Rico, this is salary cap, and you get to choose your playbook. And, you know, there's all the NFL team playbooks, and then there's also other playbooks, like the single back jumbo that you're looking at right here. This is only found in one playbook in the entire game, the single back jumbo heavy. You're going to see two players run it today. Stiffmeister, our Madden 16 champ, Ocean Gang Trey will be ready for it. Now, this isn't going to fool anybody because it's out there and, and it's been in the community for a little bit. But even though it's a heavy formation, you can actually pass really well out of it. And we'll talk about why after this third and seven. He was definitely able to pick up that blitz on that second down, but he wasn't able to get a receiver open. Third and seven here, looking to make a big play. You don't want to have it come down to fourth and long. He looks up, and just like that, he's able to pass it. Can he hang on to it? No. Yeah, so that ball was rolling around on the back. Uh, there's some real ball physics happening on the back of that player right there. He tried to go downfield. He maybe had the drag for about five yards short to the right. He went deep. True Boy backed off the coverage, and now he faces a fourth and seven, and he's going to go for it. At the point where you're going for it on fourth and seven, maybe you should have took the underneath on third down, but it doesn't seem to matter as he moves the chains. He doesn't look phased at all with that fourth down. So, Rico, you want to know how that play works? Uh, you have two corner routes, and then whichever one they don't use her, you quick throw, and it's really, really tough to stop. You saw he was late with the uh, getting back to the other side. So a really good play by Ocean to go away from – or to go away from the user. Now, we just saw an ocean that run. He only had one person to beat, but it looked like he got a little nervous and wasn't able to make that defender miss. Hopefully, he can get that going as the game progresses. Yeah, and what I like early from Ocean right now is he's committed to the ground game, but also he's throwing the ball away. A lot of players, when they get to an event, they might try and force one of those throws. He had maybe one bad throw earlier. Definitely wasn't the read. But now, he, you know, he's in good situations, third and one, and he's going to quarterback sneak. Rico, this uh, formation, the jumbo heavy, you can go to goal line because of the personnel. So you can audible from goal line to single back jumbo heavy. That's what makes it super, super tough. Plus, you got the wide receiver package. So watch out when he comes out on this field right here who he's got in his lineup. He's able to have uh, two receivers. He's, in, he's back in goal line though right now. All right, give to the left, and True Boy has absolutely none of that as he stops him for a two-yard loss. And also in this playbook, and that might have been it actually, was the I-Form Hulk, another beef formation. So he wants to run the ball continuously from goal line in I-Form Hulk, and then when he needs to pass, he goes to the jumbo heavy. You see those corner routes again. Let's see. And he's wide open just again. As you said, as soon as he had on that break, he got rid of it. Yeah, so he's throwing it to the right the first time. So then True Boy goes back to try and use it to the right. Then he throws it to the left. True Boy has seen this. He's played against it, but it takes some time to get your bearings. It's also just a really, really tough offense if it's executed well. Now, True Boy is known for sending some incredible blitzes, but it seems like this formation has kept him off of him. You're right. You're right. And uh, what Ocean Gang said before the game, Trey, we'll call him Trey because Ocean Gang is a crew. You know what I mean? We'll call him OG Trey. Um... He's able to pick up pressure because he knows how to block guys on the edges. And right there, he goes back to that corner route, Rico. He's throwing it quick. If you were to wait on that corner route, like maybe a lot of players, new players might do, or you think, oh, I'll wait till he gets to the sideline, that's bad because the flat zones will back up and play it in this year's game. 
So you got to be ready to throw it right on the cut, and as long as you're crisp, it really works out for you. All right, well, he's made it down in the red zone. A lot of players can get down here, but you got to be able to get seven when you're in this position. Yeah, and what I look for is uh, the tight end. That is where he's going to target if he gets a little bit closer in the red zone. All right, second and nine here. He's looking to make a run with the quarterback. Oh, and he gets down just in time. Great slide by Dak Prescott. You kind of, I kind of forgot that he could run with the quarterback. Uh, that's an extra element that his game has, Dak Prescott. With the slide, though, he's at the three, and now I look for him to target one of those tight ends, potentially on a high point pass, maybe green. All right, do you think this is going to be four down territory for the newbie? I think he would kick. We're going to find out. That was great defense by True Boy there. Yeah, not the read for Trey. I, I don't mind it, but he didn't really get the, the high point. He is going to settle for three. And when you're the eight seed, you're kind of the underdog. You're playing a guy like True Boy. To drive down the field, take that much time off the clock, and, it, and not turn it over and at least get points, you've got to feel confident, you know, going up against the higher seed. I don't know, Falls. I, a wise man once told me every time you take three, you're four points closer to going home. I did say that once, Rico. I did say that, but it's true. However, you got to see if you can slow down uh, True Boy. He does have a potent, potent ground game, and I want to talk about his lineup once he gets out here. Let's see if he runs this ball on first down and kind of keeps the pace of this game slow. It's what he's best at. He can obviously pass if he needs to. I was surprised he didn't really send too much pressure on that opening drive, but if he is looking to run the ball and can solidify that ground game, he'll be unstoppable today. All right, well, he's going to come out in a shotgun set. But that doesn't mean he's not going to hand that ball off. <laughs> and voila, that parted like the Red Sea. Yeah, do you see Yonda on his offensive line? He has, here's his line. Jack Conklin, right tackle, 94 overall. Marshall Yonda, team of the year, 95 overall. Mitch Moore, center, 88 overall. Left guard, Josh Sitton, 86 overall. And Andrew Whitworth, left tackle, 94 overall. Rico, remember back at the Madden Bowl when all the offensive linemen were bronze, like they just got back from the beach? This kid has all elite offensive linemen. And remember, this is salary cap, so that's a huge investment in the line. And it seems to be paying off as he looks to be controlling the line of scrimmage. Yeah, so also with those offensive linemen, what you get is a ability chemistry called secure pass blocker. And that will actually prevent defensive linemen from winning on an initial move. So it adds to your pass blocking. He's obviously getting really good run blocking up the middle, but he should feel confident that he can, he can uh, hold up against rushing linemen, but not against the blitz. And it see, he shows right there. Ocean Gang Train just sent the house coming from both sides. Didn't give him time to get that off. Third and seven here for True Boy. I have no idea where he saved enough cap to get this squad. I'll talk about it after this. All right, drops back. Third and seven, he needs to make a play. Here comes the blitz. Oh, and third and seven turns into fourth. And I think it might be too much for him. That's a long way for fourth and 15. Uh, we'll see if he decides to go for it. It'll be an interesting call early in this game. You're only up, uh, you're only down by three points. Instead, you know, you could potentially give your opponent the ball back on the 39. You got Terrell Pryor as one of your receivers because you did invest in that line. He needs a play for 15 yards here. All right, well, he's got that bunch to the right. He has some time. He finds him, but oh, he throws to the other team. Great pick by Trey. Just as good as a short punt. That is not what you want to do there, Rico. It's better than turning the ball over, but let's look at where True Boy has some bronzes on his team. It's at the right outside linebacker position. Defensive tackle, defensive tackle. So now he's facing the jumbo, and he's having to defend it with a bronze, two bronze D tackles, uh, a bronze linebacker, two bronze linebackers, a bronze free safety, and then a couple silvers mixed in there. Now these are good bronze and silver players, but his defense is really weak. It's good in the secondary, but he's getting carved up uh, because of Trey's style of play. And that's why maybe he can't blitz as much as he would want to. A really interesting team composition here for True Boy. Maybe he changed it up too much. You don't want to overthink. They say think long, think wrong. Well, right now, Ocean Gang Trey seems to have thought correctly. Oh, play action. He has some time. He rolls out. He's looking to make the run with the quarterback. Ooh, he takes a hit. Thought he would have tried to get down and slide there. 
Yeah, I thought he might, once the defender broke off, either throw to the flat or slide. When you want to go to slide, Rico, it takes like two, takes like a step and a half to, to get the button in. Uh, he's also a PS4 player, so maybe some new co controller familiarity when he's playing on Xbox today. And he just continues to impose his will on the offensive side of the ball. It doesn't even look like True Boy is slowing up the run game right now. Travius Hill, 19 years old, just started playing competitively last season, and he's really done a better job this year making it out. He's in the Madden Challenge right now in single elimination, so he's starting to get involved more in the scene. And right now he's playing a guy who's been on the big stage, and he is holding his own Rico. He's five yards away from a two-possession lead. Or he's also five yards away from taking a 6 nothing lead. It's all going to depend on whether True Boy can get that stop here. With second and goal from the five, now it's third and goal from the two. I'm just not seeing who's going to be able to stop that run. I mean, he has Mark Barron, Bud Dupree, and Anthony Barr, but those just aren't the answers. Oh! Maybe it's not the team, it's the scheme, because he definitely has a great break right there as he turns that third and goal from the two into a field goal, probably. Defensive tackle Jordan Williams. He tried to sneak one through right there, but he had no part of it. Great hold up by True Boy. And you know what? Trey says, I'm here. I drove seven hours for this. I'm going for it. And it forces True Boy to take a timeout. Let's see if he reconsiders. What, what do you like here? I definitely think he wanted to see what True Boy was going to come out in. I think you got to take the points here. It's going to be tough, especially when you played that well. You got your stop on defense. Look out. Look out to the right. Let's see. Can he get to the outside? Yes, he oh. can. Oh, it was a race to the pylon. And that's Mark Barron that was trying to tackle toss to the right. A lot of times in that situation, you'll press the A button on Xbox Rico to try and get a conservative tackle. That increases your range that you can actually wrap up the ball carrier. And he just wasn't in range with Mark Barron. A very, very good salary cap player, but not as good as if you had, say, Sean Taylor, linebacker, 92 speed, chasing after him with better tackle. All right, down 10 nothing. something nobody expected here, or at least this guy didn't. True Boy's going to be getting the ball back in the second half, so he needs to make sure he gets some points here. He gets ball at the half. I've been down 10 nothing before. I'm sure he's been down 10 nothing before. If he can simply stick to the ground game, he will be okay. All right, well, he doesn't look like he heard you there because he definitely went to throw it. Now, that first down, was able to get two on that pass. It seems like Ocean Gang has pretty much been in control on both sides right now. Yeah, the blitz has really been the answer. I mean, even though he spent money on his offensive line, if they don't get their hands on the on the blitzer, they're, they're, they can't pick him up. All right, two more drops back, another clean. Oh, he fought for himself and he finds that great corner out there. He threw off of his back foot. Not ideally what you want to do. The pressure was coming in. It looped around the right side of the offense. And so for him to get that ball out quickly, not suffer a, an error, is a great reason to have Russell Wilson as your QB. All right, he's crossed over the 50. And, and True Boy, is, he's kind of, he's, he's discouraged that he didn't get more yards right there. He got a great push, but one defender was able to scoot through and, and tackle him for a loss. He wanted more yards on that. Absolutely. All right, it's second and eight. Shotgun formation. All right, he gives it to Allen. Allen gets the first down and picks up a few more as he looks like the true boy of old. That's what he wanted on, on that last play. He's got four for 37 right now. That's a big average. He's just got to get a little bit more consistent yardage. Ooh. <laughs> and true boy shows that stick work we've been talking about. He is always making that first defender miss. So Rico, the, the left side was open there. Instead, True Boy takes that left thumb, puts it on the left stick, drives it to the right side, and look at that cut from Marcus Allen, that agility, opens up a lane, he grabs eight yards, and now he's moving down the field, trying to throw, trying to find an open receiver, playmaker, and just simply throws it away. Sometimes the smartest thing you can do, look, he's got four carries, 37 yards, and on the other side, Russell Wilson is having a bad day, but he is balanced at five to five. All right, well, he's going to need to pick up two here if he wants to move those chains. On the 25-yard line, he gives it to Allen. He gets close to the first down. It's going to be, oh, fourth and inches. And, and that's where Marcus Allen, the difference is, Marshawn Lynch maybe falls forward in that situation. 
Marcus Allen just kind of like fell backwards. You can't have that. Ooh, interesting call there. He took it outside of the toss, but he was able to get it. Right, he got it, but did you see how the defender was able to grab him, you know, before he made it too far? And that's what True Boy didn't get on the play, but Willie Brown, super high rated, makes that tackle from range, and that has been the difference right now. All right, another give them to the middle. Allen falls forward for a gain of one. 30 seconds left approaching that much time in the half. He's got two timeouts, and he gets the ball. So True Boy gets the ball, needs the score here. Three would be good. Obviously, seven would be better, but definitely got to make it within a possession. All right, here comes that blitz again. Oh, he gets it away just in time to not take that sack. He's been letting the clock run here. It's been a little bit free with his clock management. You think that's going to come back to bite him? No, I don't mind it right now because two timeouts, he's going to have a play or two that are ultimately not going to cost him too much clock. Oh and once again, that outside pressure has proven too much for True Boy's offense. He's having trouble just getting the ball off. Yeah, I think he had an open receiver right there, but Russell Wilson didn't get the ball out in time. He knew the pressure was hot and was looking to his hot read. Needed a hot one, didn't get a hot one. Now he's got to settle for three. All right, fourth and nine on the 21. He brought out his kicker. It's up. It's good. 10 to three with 16 seconds left. Closes the gap to one score. Showed he can run the ball. Gets the ball after the half. What he's got to do at halftime, Rico, is prove he can pick up the pressure. Uh, you asked last night, you know, when's the first time you played a guy when you realized, I can't pick up this heat? Is that the worst feeling in a game of Madden? It is absolutely a helpless feeling. The only thing that I can compare it to is not being able to stop the run. When somebody's getting five, six, seven yards every carry, and there's nothing you can do about it, it's going to be a long day. I think he's looking to scream off the left here, look for pressure left potentially. He sent everybody. It got picked up. Ocean Kang. That was rather risky for a few yards. Yeah, quick throw underneath. And he's at the 33-yard line, but he used his last time out. So now he's in kind of a Hail Mary uh, situation. He's going to go to the jumbo and try and hit one route downfield. Let's see if, it, if he can have anything out of it. All right, there goes the play action. He looks up, and he throws that one into the third row. So with two seconds to go, Hail Mary, True Boy holds up. I would be shocked here if, if anything took place. So True Boy's going to get the ball back. We're seeing the best play in football a little early. We talked about it earlier. How many people quarterback Neal and not win the game? It rarely happens. All right, we're going to have to keep this in mind for the second half. Would that be a correlation or causation? Is it the chicken or the egg? I don't know. We're going to have to find out. And we have a great first half under our belts. 10-3 Ocean Gang Trey is in the lead. But True Boy in that nifty stick work of his is going to look to make this second half a lot different than the first. He takes over on the 38-yard line. I mean, I'm starting the 30-yard line. Rico, what's the formula to beat the number one seed? Well, you got to have lab partners. you got to have guys that you play with. He's played True Boy before online. They've ran into each other, and it's been all close games. And... He's been able to stop the run in those games, which he'll have to do here if he wants to keep his lead in the second half. But, you know, he labs up with some of the Ocean Gang guys, guys like Jacob that we saw in Buffalo, guys that we'll see in the future in events like Kansas City. These guys know how to play the best. Online Madden right now, Rico. There's no secrets. You can't show up to an event with something nobody's ever seen. If, if these guys had, if the internet didn't exist and the single back jumbo showed up, it would be scary. But Absolutely. Thankfully, because other people run it, and it's kind of the popular offense at the moment, you've got an idea of how to slow it down. It's still difficult. It's still good. But you, you learn defense for it as it goes on. All right. It's third and five right here on the 49-yard line. True Boy looking to see if he can tie this game up. You run or pass here, Rico. What would you do in this situation? I think you have to pass here. You can't allow yourself to get caught in fourth and four in a situation where you can go ahead and lose the momentum. Right now, there's going to be a lot of options open. Oh, and just like that, he went up top, found it, and now, new ball game. So that's Cumberland. Uh, he is a tight end, formerly uh, with the Jets. 
at Jeff Cumberland Farms. That's what Gibbs likes to call him. Silver, 67 overall. You throw to him on the biggest play of the game, and he comes up huge for True Boy. Right here, Evans to the corner, and True Boy is going to get down to the three-yard line, the sire relief. I expect him to have a red zone play here. And Trey about to potentially give it back. 10 to 3 right now. Let's see what he decides to go with. Look at that offensive balance from True Boy. He's in those dark uniforms going up against Trey. The run off the right side. Gotcha. Oh, gets in and ties the game up, pending the extra point here. Nice drive by True Boy. Now, not only was that a great drive, that also was going to put a little bit more pressure on Ocean Gang Trey with it being his first time. He's been playing from the lead this whole time. Now, game is a little tight. We're moving towards the second half of this game. The clock starts mattering. We'll see if he's ready for the big siege. Six plays, 70-yard drive. That's a championship-level drive from True Boy. Just to come out and not play your best in the first half, but then to just, after the half, make your adjustments, start to find some open lanes in the passing game, adjust to those blitzes, proud of that kid over there. All right, and we have breaking news here in our off-stream match. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick here as Mr. Miami Man's on defense, Gilligan's on offense. He drops back, he's taking away all those reads, and he comes up and sticks up for himself with a big pick that leads to three, and we have a great game going on off-screen. Yeah, that's Mr. Miami Man against Master Gamer. The community knows Mr. Miami Man with a lot of uh, different usernames he's had over the years. He's been on all the different leaderboards, all the consoles. He's playing against Matster. That's a PS4 versus Xbox matchup uh, from the online. So there's not a lot of familiarity there, and it looks like it's a real tight one in that one. All right, and going back to our regular action, another first down for Ocean Gang Trey. He does not seem to be rattled by this tie score. And everyone thinks they have jumbo defense, you know, it's, it's kind of like, hey, do you have jumbo defense? If you were to say no, everyone would laugh. But if you say yes, you might not really mean it. Like, oh, I could stop it. But, but do you seriously feel confident? Because right now, Le'Veon Bell's got 16 for 86. And you don't have the beasts on the defensive line. Because you stacked your offensive line, True Boy, you've got bronze on the defensive line. Yeah, and it's going to be tough for him. If he doesn't get a stop here, not only is Ocean Gang Trey imposing his will, he's eating clock. He's going to make True Boy have to step outside of his normal run game if he's going to look to bring this one home at the end. He's going back to those corner routes. you got to watch True Boy's user in the middle. Great job. Great defense. Oh, and he still had that release valve underneath, oh, no. and he's fighting it. Yeah, Terrell Pryor, he's one of uh, everyone's favorite options for a real inexpensive player on the roster. And right there, you see why. I mean, look at him fight for his life to try and get that first down. Bronze, 55 uh, OVR. All right, he wasn't able to make the first guy miss. But when you break tackles like that, it's just the same. Yeah, and I mean, Trey did a lot of work on his lineup as well. He's got some studs. He's got an Anthony Munoz, a Richie Incognito, a Jack Conklin of his own. All right, play action. He thinks he has somebody. Oh, did he get the put feet in? Rico, dot, 17-yard line. Fitzgerald, corner, dot. He is who we thought he was. All right, he has marched down this field. He's on the 17-yard line. Third quarter coming to an end. We have a tie ball game. What else can you ask for? Our first game, tie going into the fourth, back and forth, absolute slugfest. This club series, the best of the best. Pound in the rock here, Le'Veon Bell, Rico. What do you like to happen in the fourth quarter? What, you know, do you think he holds him to a field goal here? How do you feel this one plays out? It's all gonna come down to red zone execution. If Ocean Gang Trey here can get seven, he is in the driver's seat. All the pressure will be on True would have to make a play, and it seems like, oh! Pass lead. <laughs> Pass lead, Rico. No. He was in double coverage. True Boy cannot believe it. That throw. He had the defender. The safety was coming down to try and make a play on that ball. Let's see if we can look at his safeties. Oh, that is a tough, great possession catch from Trey. That precision. And now, you said at red zone, he's down seven. Was that a dot or a deck? I don't know if that was fully the read, but 
a great pass lead. It wasn't a dot per se, but it certainly wasn't the opposite of a dot, which is a Todd. <laughs> All right, here you have it. A little over four minutes remaining. Ball's on the 12th. He brought it out. So look at so he has uh, Sean Taylor as his free safety. That would have been a zone he would, would have been in, and you would expect him to hopefully make a play on that better, but he didn't get it, and that might be why he was so animated after giving up that score. Russell Wilson right now, just 5 for 10, a little bit shaky. The pressure's been good from Trey, and if he can keep sending it, True Boy will be on his heels on this drive. He's got four minutes. He's got two drives left in this game. He's just got to save his time out and get uh, it. And that's where it gets interesting. With True Boy in this run offense, does he have two drives left in him or one great one? Great playmaker back across the middle. Mike Evans uh, grabs oh, and it. And he picks it up. He's at the 50, the 40, the 35, the 30. He has one man to beat. Oh, did you oh see that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's showing off a little bit. The youngster stop and go was phenomenal. What do true boys <laughs> dream of when they take a little Madden snooze? The left stick work with Mike Evans' complete stop was ridiculous right there. Wow. Oh, he cuts it back. Too much oh, stick. my goodness. That is just talent and skill. I have not seen another player do that. We talk about it, right? These guys like to use battle-ready halfbacks, Rico. They like to use Marshawn Lynch, and all they push is the A button. That's all they push is just A button, A button, A button, fall forward. True boy, he doesn't push any buttons. He doesn't use those new run moves. He just says, I'm going to work the left stick like you read about. I'm going to stop with my guy. I'm going to cut to the right. I'm going to use Oprah, a backup halfback, when I get in the red zone. And I'm just going to stuff it on you. And I'm going to make him look like Marcus Allen. This kid is ridiculous. And that he is. All right, we have three minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Ball on the 25-yard line. A tie ball game here in our first Madden Club Series. Again, as good as he's been on offense, I'll say that, he, he's got to find a way to slow this run game down. I like to call a little game, Rico, called first to call spinner loses. If, if you got a call, start calling like these aggressive blitzes to potentially stop the run, that's bad. That's bad news. Absolutely. All right, he gives up the middle. Oh, he gets a block. Another oh. first down. This is where you have to start worrying about the clock. As Ocean Gang Trey continues to accumulate these first downs and chip away at that clock, Trooper has to hope he can at least get the ball back. Yeah, third and inches, and he's not going to sneak. And let's see. Oh, no! He wanted the pick, so his opponent chose not to sneak, maybe thinking, well, I could sneak on fourth and inches and get up in my sleep. So he tried to catch True Boy. True Boy was ready, and when he broke down on that throw right there, he almost wow. got a pick. Uh, Rico, there's two minutes left in this thing. He's chewing clock. He's trying to limit this. This is, wants to be the last possession. Yes, he's definitely trying to make this the last possession. There's one person to beat. Oh! The True Boy is going to have to do something and do it quickly. He is right now at Ocean Gang's mercy with this unstoppable run offense. And let's see who blinks first. He's ticking the clock down, minute and a half. Let's see if Trey stays true or if he tries to shock True Boy. And, then, and if he gets down there, is he going to get that first no, down? No, it's, it's going to be inches. Uh-oh. Now this is where True Boy made a stand at the goal line. I expect a sneak, Rico. I expect a sneak. Let's see if he's got sneak deep. Oh, he definitely does have sneak deep. I don't know. Not out of this formation. Oh, oh he does! Fourth and inches. Did you hear it now? I think. Let's see. He, no, he did not get that. And now this makes him... Is Ocean Gang going to be a little nervous to go back to it? Does yeah. he have a fourth and inches left? He's gotten stopped twice by this Williams guy. He's not in sneak. He's in jumbo. This and he's going to pass. Run a pass. This is where he blinks, Rico. Uh-oh. He has some people. No! Oh, and he gets the stop. That was incredible. That was incredible defense. And that's why they say big-time players make big-time plays. Fourth and inches. He was so scared of that defense. It got him outside of his normal play calling. Wow. Incredible stand from True Boy. That's why he is the number one seed. And now he takes back over with 53 seconds to go. Marcus Allen, Trey was in control of this one, and now there's just a, under a minute left, and he's in a bad position. Needs to get a stop on True Boy, but a great first play for him, and now he's in a second and 11. He also has to start thinking about when's he going to use his timeouts. Is this the drive right here? He already got that first. Oh, he, and there we have it. He's got D for this ace-twins offset. Uh, True Boy's used 
you know, as long as he's picked up the pressure, then he's had a chance to playmaker. But he knows the routes. He hit him with a seam once. There's not been a lot of dots. So True Boy needs to come up with something here if he wants to get into field goal range. Needs about 15 yards. All right, he picks up all the pressure. He gets that pass completed, moves the sticks. It's not looking good for Ocean Gang Trey. Oh, no, third and one. So I apologize. First to call spinner right there. You saw it. But Larry Fitzgerald across the middle. I thought he got the first down. It looks like he came up short. So now a, a big third and one. He's on the brink of field goal range, and the clock is stopped. Let's see if he goes to the run or does he go to the flat or the pass. All right, sends a man in motion, drops back. He decides to pass. Oh, he catches him on the run from it. And here he goes. Is he going to score? Yes. He wanted to lay down, and he messed up the button controls. He, I said that he uses the left stick and not the moves, so he didn't actually mean to lay out and do an awesome touchdown animation right there. He wanted to actually lay down with his guy, kneel, kneel, field goal, game over. Instead, he gives his opponent 20 seconds, so a bit of a miscalculation uh, by True Boy right there. Still, you're happy taking seven, taking the lead, and now... Let's see, I did see Ocean Gang in warm-ups practicing, Rico, a little thing we like to call. This one. Yeah. <laughs> and now here's where I'll tell you, he has two timeouts, he has a shot at it, but he's been in such a run-heavy offense, is he going to be able to make that big-time play on this stage at this moment of the game? And, and when you're trailing the jumbo, it's got routes downfield, but everybody knows where that post is going to be, and, and I don't think True Boy's going to get fooled by it. All right, he's rolling out. He's looking. Oh! I cannot believe that James... Usually when you get hit in the back like that, you instantly drop it. That's uh, James from the Steelers. Surprised he hung on to it, but that's a big play to get him kind of out away from his end zone. And now he needs two. He needs one play and then a Hail Mary. Oh, that play action's taking some time. He had nine seconds. All right. He took six seconds off the clock and didn't get 10 yards. Is it going to be quarter three deep? Is it going to be, what's it going to be, Rico? It he has needs to be to quarter get to three deep. Safety's over top, hand-to-man -man defense. You don't want anybody getting away from you. But you send an extra person. You send an extra person. You cannot guy. let them sit back and pat that ball and look for somebody. Larry Fitzgerald one time. Nope. Oh, and he gets the pick to end it. Great job. True boy can breathe a sigh of relief. He may have won this one, but that was a tough, tough battle for an opening game. Tough game right there. We've seen some big one seed versus eight seed matches. These guys shake hand. Real recognize real. He had the future in his headphones. He was bopping his head. It took him a while to get control of that game, Rico, but when it all came down to it, it was really that third in inches that turned into a fourth in inches, and he made the stop when he needed to get it. He had that conversion to Larry Fitzgerald. I said, who would blink first, Rico? What happened? On that third and one for True Boy, his opponent ran commit, and that cost him the game because he had to feel like he, ah, I, the clock situation got out of his favor. He was the one running it in the fourth quarter, and it just didn't go his way. Yeah, it was, it was a tough ending. You got to tip your hat to Ocean Gang, Trey. He made it through an incredible gauntlet of online players to get here, ran into the number one seed, and fought a great fight. We always joke about having a fourth and 17 play or you wouldn't be here. You also got to have goal line defense. Well, Spence is right down there with the winner. Let's go ahead and throw it to Spence. All right, thanks, Rico. I'm here with the winner, True Boy. True Boy, how are you to handle the rushing attack from this game? Uh, I handled it pretty well until like the end. He broke some uh, big runs, but uh, yeah, he played really well. I didn't think that uh, that jumbo would have been that good, but uh, it was pretty good. That was a tight fourth quarter. What was your th mind during that fourth quarter, going back and forth, making some big plays? I felt confident the whole game. I mean, I didn't feel like, even though I was down, I felt like I just, I had to get it going on offense, and I did. So that was the difference, pretty much. So as a favorite of this uh, tournament, What's your mindset moving forward? You think you're pretty confident? That was a tight uh, matchup. Yeah, I think it was the first game of the day, so it was kind of like I was a little, not shaky, but, you know, just made some mistakes. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll improve. I'm, I'm good. All right, he's still confident, Rico. So he's feeling good moving forward. Back to you, Rico. He's feeling good. He's looking good.